A lot of flavor and character is added to Field of Glory Empires through various game mechanics, as well as national modifiers, nation-specific buildings, and national units. Welcome to this tutorial that talks briefly about diplomacy and some of the extras found in Field of Glory Empires. Diplomacy is relatively straightforward. To attack a playable nation, you will need to declare war. But to attack an uncivilized nation, you can simply cross the border. Uncivilized nations are always considered enemies of the other nations. Open the Diplomacy panel. On the left, you will see any diplomatic decisions being offered to you this turn. Wars you are currently conducting will be listed in the central region, and hovering over the banners will show the factors impacting any peace talks. On the right are the list of treaties you have active. If you click a region belonging to another nation and look at the Diplomacy panel, the left side will display any diplomatic actions you can take this turn. Hovering over these will display detailed information about the action, along with the odds of requests being accepted. The centre will give any relevant information about your relationship with this nation, and the right side will show the treaties of this nation. When you access the Diplomacy panel, the map will switch to Relationships mode, where you can see the relationship the selected empire has with other nations. This can be a good way to quickly assess who would make good allies to help you in future wars. Field of Glory Empires has an incredibly helpful ledger that can be used to distill all sorts of useful information. The Regions Overview provides a great summary of regions that can be built upon, as well as displaying unique buildings. Regions Population is a great tool to manage the ethnicities and growth of your population. Regions Military provides a quick summary of garrisons and walls, as well as unlocked special units. Using the Regions Trade Goods Ledger, in conjunction with the Trade Details panel, is a great way to quickly assess trade opportunities. The Armies Ledger is a quick way to summarise and manage your forces. Leaders summarises your nation's leaders. The Battles Ledger allows you to review battles that occurred this turn. CDR shows the position of all the factions in relation to their culture and decadence. Ideally, you want to be in the top third of this ledger. Legacy shows how each nation is accruing its score. The Factions Ledger is a great way to assess the power and wealth of all the nations in relation to each other. And the History Graph allows you to compare your progress in myriad areas across time and against other nations. Press the Control key to select multiple choices. Each of the ledgers has a wide range of sorting and filtering options. It is a good idea to experiment in here to get an idea of how this tool can powerfully help you manage your empire. Across the map, you will find a plethora of unique buildings and world wonders. Clicking to the Legacy and World Wonders map mode will show where the world wonders are located. World wonders provide an extra legacy point per turn. Athens, as an example, starts the game with one world wonder, the Parthenon, and two unique buildings, the Acropolis and the Academy. Some unique buildings, like the coastal fortress of Syracuse, will damage enemy ships in the neighbouring coastal zones. There are many more spread throughout the world map for you to discover and exploit. Weather in Field of Glory Empires is handled in a simple fashion. Every fourth turn will be considered a turn of harsh weather. Mountain passes will suffer blizzards, and desert regions will suffer sandstorms, both of which stop movement through these regions. Some regions may still experience harsh weather even during normal turns. Alexander's generals split his empire between themselves after his death, and these successor states are referred to as the Diadochi, and the game has special rules for these states. These factions include Macedonia, the Seleucids, the Antigonids, Ptolemaic Egypt, and the Lysimachids. If they become old or decadent, there is a risk that their entire empire will collapse. If the AI is in charge of one of these states, they are likely to crumble, especially if they lose their original capital. Some of the Diadochi have national modifiers, so it is important to evaluate the flavour of these states before you make too many decisions. There's also good news for the modding community. Field of Glory Empires references easy-to-understand script files, which will allow modders to change such aspects as unit statistics, adding events, or even changing the game rules. For more detailed information, make sure you check out the in-game help by clicking on the question mark, or reference the comprehensive manual.